Every serious vlogger needs to invest in one of the best vlogging cameras. Not only do these cameras make it easy for you to film a new entry to your vlog, but they also deliver great picture quality, an excellent display, a reliable autofocus, and amazing image stabilization. We tested models to suit every budget, including some of the best beginner cameras and best mirrorless cameras, covering the benefits and drawbacks of each entry. And to help you, we've reviewed and ranked the best vlogging cameras in this video. We've also included some tips to consider when making a buying decision. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. Sony Alpha ZV E10 When it comes to cameras, Sony has officially surpassed Canon and Nikon as the top camera brand and it couldn't be more evident with this camera. With 4K video capabilities and the ability to capture 120 FPS, your videos will be incredibly clear and have impressive quality even when put in slow motion. Personally, I didn't know cameras of this size and type could be mirrorless and have the ability to have interchangeable lenses. But this camera can be purchased with an assortment of lenses, but it's most commonly used with a 16 to 50 mm lens. At $800, when purchased with the lens included, this camera is on the more expensive side of the vlogging camera industry. Even so, this camera is a top-of-the-line device, and if you want the best experience to kick off your vlogs, this camera is the one for you. Number 4. Panasonic Lumix GH6 The Panasonic Lumix GH6 is a near-peerless filmmaker's camera. Though all of the company's Micro Four Third G-series cameras have pretty impressive video features, the G8 series is where the tech is really being pushed forward in exciting new ways. Some would dismiss the Lumix G86 on account of its comparatively small MFT sensor, but that would be a mistake. The Lumix G86 is one of the best consumer video cameras you can buy right now, and it's only its price and complexity that stop it being the top camera on this list. It's not exactly pitched toward casual vloggers. The Lumix G86 has a stacked sensor with lightning fast readout speeds, meaning it can record high quality video internally without the need to hook it up to a video recorder. Highlights include 5.7K 30p internal video in ProRes 4x2x2 HQ, 4x2x2 10-bit cinema, 4K 60p internal, and 5.8K 10-bit anamorphic using the full sensor area. If you don't know what those terms mean, then congratulations, you've just saved yourself two grand and one of the cheaper cameras in this list will do just fine. If you do, then we can assure you that this might just be the camera you've been waiting for. Number 3. Sony ZV-1 Designed with vloggers in mind, the image-stabilized Sony ZV-1 checks off a long list of must-have features, from ease of use and 4K video to a fully articulated touchscreen LCD. This fine size camera comes with an integrated 24-70mm f by 1.8 to 2.8 lens, so you can create a soft background by choosing a wide open aperture. If you don't want to fiddle with manual exposure, check out the one touch defocus option that achieves the same result quickly and easily. IAF and excellent tracking keeps you in focus while filming and you'll look good too, thanks to the soft skin option. And with the ZV-1's face priority AE, the camera automatically adjusts settings to keep you properly exposed when the lighting changes. You'll also find video-centric features such as focus peaking and zebra stripes, a large record button, and a front-facing recording indicator light. The Sony ZV-1's built-in microphone produces good audio, and the camera even comes with a windscreen. It's also equipped with a 3.5mm microphone jack for an external mic, as well as a multi-interface shoe to connect additional accessories. In addition to webcam software, check out the optional vlogger kit with a shooting grip, wireless remote control, and a 64GB SD card. The grip, which doubles as a mini tripod, has an adjustable head, and while it's not as effective as a gimbal for run-and-gun shots, provides a good handhold when shooting on the go. Among the front-facing controls on the grip are a record button and a zoom rocker for adjusting compatible power lenses. If you don't want to keep the camera mounted on the grip, the controls still work as long as the Bluetooth connection is still active. The vlogger kit is definitely worth a serious look and is compatible with some other Sony cameras as well. Number 2. Canon EOS R7 Hitting the APS-C sweet spot, the EOS R7 is one of the top options in Canon's lineup for enthusiast shooters. 
compact proportions make it a nice camera to use, with a reasonably chunky grip and accessible control layout. Yet, it also benefits from a generous feature set, while undercutting its full-frame cousins. Among the highlights is Canon's latest dual-pixel CMOS AF2 autofocus, which proved both rapid and reliably capable of keeping up with the subjects. Electronic burst speeds of up to 30 fps also make it a dream for sports and wildlife photography, with in-body image stabilization offering 8 stops of compensation when shooting handheld. Overall, our real-world usage proved that the EOS R7 can produce lovely images in a wide range of conditions. Low-light results aren't quite on par with Canon's full-frame models, but it's hard to argue when you're getting such impressive versatility and value. That includes two UHS-2 card slots, an articulating touchscreen, and the ability to shoot uncropped 4K 60p video. All that's really holding the Canon EOS R7 back right now is a lack of native lenses. This is something that Canon will hopefully address if the RF-S system becomes as popular as it should be. Number 1. Sony a7 IV As the successor to the celebrated a7 III, the latest all-rounder in Sony's full-frame mirrorless camera range has big shoes to fill. Luckily, the a7 IV takes the baton and runs away with it, introducing a sharper 33-megapixel sensor, powerful Bion's XR processor, and upgraded video skills. The a7 IV is a true hybrid workhorse. It also benefits from an improved viewfinder, a new vary-angle touchscreen, and a huge 828 shot buffer for CF Express cards. As is often the case, that flexibility doesn't come without compromise. There is a heavy crop on 4K footage, and it's not the easiest camera for beginners to use. A price increase means it doesn't have the same entry-level appeal as its predecessor, while rivals like the Canon EOS R6 also offer faster burst shooting rates although Sony's class-leading autofocus skills do plenty to compensate for this. Taken as a whole, the Sony a7 IV is a worthy successor to the a7 III. It's a fantastically versatile option that could be all the camera most people ever need. So, that wraps up our list of the best vlogging cameras. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which vlogging camera you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please get this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.